Good morning, Rose. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kingdom Transformation Network's Morning Prayer. I am your host, Coach Shaitiria Jones, your spiritual midwife, helping you to see you as Jesus Christ sees you. I am so excited this morning as we are entering into the realm of clearing the rubble. We are on day seven. We are on day seven. Facebook, go ahead and share, share, share this broadcast. If you are on the clubhouse, ping some people into the room so we can enter in and we can press in and we can pray well. We have been intentional about clearing the rubble and sometimes that can be a difficult thing to do where you enter into a place where you are saying, God, uh, there's some brokenness that has been in my life that I need to spell. There's some stuff um, that has been showing up in my life and I need it um, removed. And so... As we are entering into this realm where we say, God, clear out what needs to be cleared out. Break up what needs to be broken up because I know that when you do that, I can be free. And so we're on day seven. God wants to clear the rubble for uh, these next remaining days before we enter into a realm where we discover our royal selves. If you have not ordered your uh pre-copy of the uh, book Royalty 30 Days to Discovering the Royal You. Uh, you can go ahead on Facebook, click the link in the description to the video. If you are on Clubhouse, you can go to my Instagram page and you can click the link there for that so you can enter in with us as we go through uh, learning about our royal selves, learning about learning about um, who God has called us to be as royalty because it, it can sometimes be very difficult. Um, even now, I assert my authority over the airwaves. I command in the name of Jesus that this broadcast will be made available on Facebook. I declare and decree a uh, Santa Montesta. Thank you, oh God, for you are good and your mercy endures forever. Um, and so I thank you, Father, for what you are doing and for what is yet to come. And so, Lord, we just thank you for the freedom that's coming forth. God wants his people free. And so we're clearing the rubble. We're going to be reading. Um, we are going to be reading the book of Mark, chapter 4, 3 through 8, and then 14 through 20. And again, we are in the parable of the sower. Oftentimes as Christians, we don't go through and rake through and comb through the scriptures because we're like, I read it once um, and we should be uh, uh, able to be okay reading it once, but that's not the truth of how it works. And so we are going to go back through Mark chapter four, uh, reading verses three through eight and verses 14 through 20. It says, hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass as he sowed, some fell by the wayside and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, help us, Holy Ghost. And the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up, hallelujah, and increased and brought forth some 30 and some 60 and some an hundred. The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves. And so endure, but for a time. Afterward, when infliction or 
persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth some thirtyfold, some sixtyfold, and some a hundredfold. Thank you, O God, that we have ears to hear what thus saith the Lord. Thank you, O God, that we have hearts that desire and delight in receiving from you. Thank you, O God, that every yoke of bondage that thought that it was going to devour us will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the freedom that is even now ringing in the very essence of who you created us to be. We thank you, O God, that we are a people, O Father God. We are a people in the name of Jesus who will not settle oh father God but we will be arrows dipped in the blood of Jesus shot out to destroy the works of darkness we are a people who will not compromise we are a people who will not be moved we are a people who are not uh, settling for less oh father God but we are a people who will shake the very foundations of hell by allowing you to clear the very rubble that I thought that it was going to you. overshadow us oh I father God Juice. Okay, give me just a moment. No, apple juice. We thank you no, in the apple juice. We thank you in the name I of Jesus. Shh, shh, you, hear, you hear me praying? You you heard that I was shaking the foundations of hell. Yeah. We was sending we was about to send an east wind against them devils, girl. We gotta destroy them in the name of Jesus, right? Yeah, let's destroy him by the fire of the Holy no, Ghost. No, no, I want apple juice. Okay, let me get you some apple juice and we'll destroy him by the fire of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, oh God, that you are consistent, even in our inconsistencies, oh God. We thank you in the name of Jesus for how you have called us forth into the realm of purpose, oh God. We thank you that everything that thought that it was devouring us catch fire in the name of Jesus, that every distraction and every arrow sent from the pit of hell to derail the very destinies of your people and to pull them out of a place where they are excavating through the Holy Ghost be disbanded and dismantled. I thank you, oh God, that you have called us forth for such a time as this. I thank you, oh Father God, that you are wiping the slate clean, that you are in intentional about what you are doing in us. You are intentional about what you are doing through us. You are intentional about making ways out of no way, oh God. You are intentional, oh Father God, about us being solutions in the earth realm. You are intentional, oh Father God, about, about moving on our behalf. And for that, we are eternally grateful. For that, oh Father God, we are eternally grateful. For that, oh God, we are eternally grateful. And we say, have your way, oh God. We are asking in the name of Jesus that you reveal unto us uh, uh, what is hindering us from really hearing your voice oh father God for you said that if we have ears to hear we can hear what you have to say what is hindering us from your word taking root on the inside of us and growing oh father God Lord we know that Satan came immediately to take away from the word uh, that was sown into our hearts and so we are asking that we be on guard perpetually that we be a people who are guardians over the land that you have given us to dress and to keep oh God that we would not take a posture of passivity, but we would be actively engaged in the, the warfare strategies that you have given unto us. That we wouldn't cower at the thought of war, oh God. We would enter in joyfully. We would enter in with gladness, oh Father God. We would enter in being a people who take delight in destroying darkness. Hallelujah, oh God. That you called us forth to be a people who delight in destroying darkness. That we would be a people who when the word is released, that we are on guard to stand and to watch it 
take root and grow in our lives, oh Father God, that when persecution and affliction and offense come, we understand that it's coming to take the very ground from under us that would be a, 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 a place of cultivation for that seed to take root and grow, that we would think it not strange, oh God, when we fall into the fiery trials of life, but we would enter into a realm, oh Father God, where we appreciate who you've called us forth to be, and we appreciate the excavation process. And so we call in the excavation process. We call in the deep work, oh God. We call in the shifting and the sifting of our souls, oh God. We call in the disconnection notice, oh Father God, from the things of our past that has been tethering us into darkness. We call ourselves into light this day, oh Father God. And we say, do a mighty work on the inside of us. We say move on our behalf, oh God, because we have not been sifted in a long time, oh God. We have not been drawn to a place where we had to choose between death and life in a long time, oh God. We, we, we have been conscious of that decision that you have called us to. And so we are asking in the name of Jesus that everywhere where our hearts have died, oh God, that it would be resurrected in accordance with your plans and your purposes for us. Every place that has become stony because there is no aeration in the soil of our hearts, oh Father God, we are asking that you break it up by Holy Ghost fire. We are asking that you even now send forth uh, uh, the fertilization that is necessary to add nutrients to the very soils of our hearts. So we can produce in accordance with your word. Lord, we are looking to look like you in every way of our lives, oh Father God. We are looking to look like you. And so we ask in the name of Jesus that you would reveal to us the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, riches and the lust and other things that are trying to enter into our hearts to choke out us from becoming fruitful, oh Father God. You called us forth to be those who bear fruit, oh God. You called us forth to be people who reproduce after what's been deposited in us. And we have been producing death in a lot of areas of our lives but we call forth for holy ghost excavation we call forth for a digging up of the brokenness we call forth for an exposing of the hidden patterns and cycles that we have entered into we ask in the name of jesus that everything that is damaging our souls oh god that is causing the soil of our hearts to be unfertile oh father god that is causing us not to be able to produce a harvest in this season we are asking that you wipe it out like you wiped out the Amalekites in the name of Jesus oh father God Lord we thank you oh father God that you have called us forth to be yoke breakers that you have called us forth to be people who come out of the place of bondage that you have called us forth to be living epistles read of men and that in this season as we enter into the newness of who you called us forth to be we will give you glory we will give you honor and we will give you praise we thank you oh father god for the full authority that we stand in for the stead for which we walk in because everybody walks in the name of their god and we walk in the name of our God based on the condition of our hearts creating us a clean heart oh God and renew within us a right spirit create in us oh God a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit every serpent that we have been listening to oh father God expose the works of darkness shut the mouth of the lions oh father God every fiery furnace that the enemy thought he was going to throw us into to cause us not to bow at the name of Jesus we even ask for desolation upon the camp of the enemy we say that that angel that killed 185,000 Assyrian soldiers we sent it forth to the camp of the enemy even now to destroy the very essence of who the enemy thought that he was we thank you in the name of Jesus oh father God that the angels excel in strength, oh Father God, and they have been called forth to help the heirs of salvation. We are heirs of salvation, oh God. We were purchased by the precious blood of Jesus. And so even now we restrain the hand of the enemy. We say, let the blood of Jesus speak on our behalf. We say, let the blood of Jesus speak on our behalf. We thank you for overturning every guilty verdict that has been rendered against us, oh Father God. We thank you for shutting down the plot, plans, and scheme of the enemy that we will be called forth into a place of purpose oh god we thank you that our passions burn for the things that your passions burn for oh father god and we just ask that you continue to expose the wicked works in our heart we thank you for the newness that we're entering into new 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 that this is a new place oh father god that this is a, a new direction
strengthen, oh God. That this is a new strength, oh Father God. That this is a new heart, oh God. And we won't do with the new heart what we did with the old heart. Help us, Holy Ghost. We won't do with the new heart what we have done with the old heart, oh God. We won't give our new heart to hell, oh God. But we give our heart to you. We give our heart to you, oh God. Sometimes we don't realize we're broken because we are willingly giving our heart to the king of hell. We are willingly placing the very heart that God has given us and has entrusted us with. And we're giving it over to darkness. Help us, Holy Ghost, to be able to decipher between darkness. Help us, Holy Ghost, to understand that you translated us from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God's dear son. That we have the ability to stand in the kingdom of light perpetually. That we have the ability to to stand in the kingdom of light and to be fortified in the name of Jesus. We call forth for every demonic load that's been fortified in our life to catch fire in the name of Jesus. We even now shut it down in the name of Jesus and we call ourselves into purpose this day. We call ourselves into a posture of unshakability in the name of Jesus and we call ourselves free in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Listen, God wants his people free, free today, okay? And so I want to challenge you, if you have not pre-ordered your Royal Faith Fast book, you want to get that today because this is about to be crazy. <laughs> this is going to be an amazing, crazy journey that God is taking us on as we are evaluating the royal aspects of who we are, okay? And so as we are entering into a realm where we allow God to search us and as we allow God to shape and mold us into these mighty warriors we have to enter into a posture where we are believing his word but if we don't know what it says about us being royalty we can't enter into that covenant place that god is delighting to take us into and so i want to challenge you click the link in the description to uh on my facebook here get your copy pre-order that today pre-order that today pre-order that today listen you want that because we are clearing some rubble so we can get free free okay the very heart posture that we live in is the heart posture that we receive in and god wants us to be receptive to the works that he's doing in us and through us in this hour no more local anesthesia we will not be under local anesthesia anymore but we enter into a realm where we can receive from god in a way that's going to impact our life so we can shake nations Listen, we've been called forth as a people who, who can set fire to, to some things that have been perpetuating themselves in our bloodline. We've been called forth as a people who can shift things at the weight of our words because the weight that rests on our words is the very glory and essence of who God is. We've been called forth as glory carriers and unless we posture ourselves to be, we cannot be. Do what God called. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, I'm full of fire on this morning. We have got to be in order to do what God called us to do. But we have perfected the posture of doing in performance of an orphan spirit that we have not understood the very essence of what we were created to be. We were created to be king's kids that rule and reign with the scepter in Zion. And as we are shifting from the state of being to doing so we can actually advance the agenda of God, we have got to clear the rubble so we can enter into royalty. Caden's excited. Excited too today, y'all. She's excited too, okay? And so, listen, I want to challenge you. Get the royal uh, 30 days to royalty. What's the name of the book? Because sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm a little fiery this morning. Royalty, 30 days to discovering the royal you. I want to challenge you to get your copy if you have not pre-ordered it. And then I want to invite you to join me in either Beautiful Souls or Leader Souls. Listen, there is the place where God is doing some mighty works in his people. We have a Beautiful Souls meeting this friday so you can get in on that if you are ready you can do it our royal uh, our leaders so is going to meet the second um friday bunny our leader soul is going to meet the second um, Friday in the month of April only because the first one is um, Good Friday and I'll be uh, preaching at my church that day. But I want to invite you to join us in either Beautiful Souls or Leader Souls or both because they're both uh, uh, 
very um, instrumental in what God wants to do in this hour and his people. So Facebook, click the link, choose the one that's right for you. Clubhouse, go on my Instagram and enter into that place. And so Facebook, if you have prayer requests, send, 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 send them to me. I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you. If you have questions or concerns, send them to me and I will answer them. Okay. We will be back on at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow morning. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Clubhouse, I am on the way. I am on the way. Let me end this video. Okay, Facebook, I'll see you in another broadcast. Bye. You, you want to say bye? Bye, people. <laughs> Such a honey. Okay, let me end the video here.